There was no let up of the high volatility in August with the Bank of Japan's intervention and S&P's downgrade of US debt blowing many accounts and keeping traders on their toes. But not for the winners of the Dukas Coffee Trader Contest and J Forex Strategy. Retest Serene from India managed to finish top of the trader standings, whereas Leo Zab is the J Forex champion for the second time. I'm Peter Lovegrove. And I'm Katie Bilbeam here in the Geneva TV studios to find out what it takes to win both of these contests. Now, last time you were here, you put your win down to luck, but you're here once again. You're a double winner, so it can't all be about luck. Tell me a bit about how you've managed to achieve this success once again. Igen, hát én nagyon örülök, hogy ismét itt lehetek és másodszor megnyertem ezt a contest. I am very glad that I can be here again, and for the second time, I could win Dukas Copy Strategy Contest. Besides luck, in order to develop a good strategy, you need to learn the programming language of JForex. You should also monitor how the charts and markets move in correlation, and the indicators will show what should be improved in the program. That's what I did. Besides being lucky, I could tell you that you would need a bit of knowledge in programming and applying the indicators properly. My advice is if someone would like to develop a strategy, he should proceed like this, and in my opinion, he will be successful. Az ezt így járjon el, és akkor sikeres lesz az én véleményem szerint. Some people might be watching this and thinking, I really want to get involved with this competition. Tell me a bit about your experience that's helped you in this competition. Hát azt tudnám mondani, mindenféleképpen itt a kérdés. The foreign exchange trading is really dangerous type of trading. One can have negative experience very easily and quickly, but I would suggest not giving up. I have had a lot of negative experience, even losses, but I didn't give up, continued working, developing my program and adding new ideas. This is the end result. I managed to win Dukas Copy J4X strategy contest for the second time. Now, as I understand it, your strategy only works with the US dollar and that's how it achieves its success. Do you intend to develop your strategy so that it's more versatile for more currency pairs? Well, yes, my strategy is based on the euro dollar pair. I have developed the strategy to be successful. Nevertheless, I am in the process of developing another strategy, which uses two and four other currency pairs and different indicators as well. The strategy I am running now is successful and I don't plan to launch the other one yet. We'll see if I will use it in the strategy contest in the future. Okay, so there you have it. You need luck, but you also need a lot of skills too to be successful in the J4X strategy competition. Back to you, Peter. Okay, thank you, Katie. And I'm now joined by Ritesh here, who's going to talk me through his trading strategy. So obviously you won the traders contest in August, and I know you've been working in the article contest as well, but can you give me a summary of your trading strategy? Uh, my strategy is based on the mismatch of supply and demand and divergence. So I see the confluence of these so that I get powerful signals and uh, confirmation with the help of 21 MA, that's the moving average. And I enter after all these signals give me a right entry. It's a rule-based strategy. Anyone can use it. And uh, the way it works is that uh, whenever the price is very low and it comes back and touches those uh, very uh, demand zones, and we, I, I buy and uh, the same for the selling and that's very simple and the take profit is the next mismatch zone and uh, which is like 100 pips or 200 pips on every date. Let's talk about the turning point for you in the contest. Uh, there was a point where you were languishing about 56, okay, but not, not in the money winning places. How did you make that jump from, from below 50 to the top five and eventually number one? Uh, actually, uh, I, when I was trading very less unit size, the account equity is not growing much or decreasing much. And then I used on some of the trades in which I was like very confident. It was like emotion free, completely rule based and I tried to catch the very top in the Euro-Swiss short position and uh, I got it. I got it with the high leverage and that increased my equity to the level at which I can get some of the points from the performance and my pips uh, was already uh, quite nice but the actual turning point came in the mid of the month when I decided to see that what are the past months uh, who are the winners? What I need to do? And I found that there are four parameters that the Dukas copy evaluates one. 
and uh, we need performance, we need pips, we need popularity, we need the Lucas copy score. I, f I made four strategies for all these and I started to work after 15th of August and I worked on these and I tried to see that if I have a 450k, if I have 2000 pips and if I have 40 popularity and uh, 70, 80 in Lucas copy, I will win this contest. I, so my uh, focus was on 310 as a score. I got 301. Sure. And what about the popularity aspect? Because it, it really does uh, dumbfound some people because it's very difficult to make your popularity grow. So how did you make your popularity grow? Uh, I'm actually uh, quite active with the help of this article contest. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to say people that this is my strategy. So people are attractive. Uh, you know, they are trying to read uh, my strategy and uh, then when I, they see my traits, uh, you know, they see that th these are the same traits and they give me feedback. This kind of thing, th this helps uh, like a community, like a blog or, you know, people reply to that. Just like, you know, and, and, and the best thing in the uh, Ducas copy, uh, this blog is that trader blog that we can like, we can comment just like, you know, Facebook or other social media. So one time I was posting like, I'm spending more time on the Ducas copy blog than on Facebook. And what about the future for you? Do you have a live account and, um, and how do you hope to improve your trading? Uh, I, I trade the live account in the very same way. Uh, however, uh, when uh, I am trading the live account, I'm using very less leverage. I'm using half percent uh, of my account on every trade for majors and uh, for the exotics even uh, less. So uh, that makes sure that I'm not out of the game. I survive for the next day and uh, whatever profit I make, uh, I'm able to live with that. Both of our winners went on to the Beau Rivage Hotel where they enjoyed the Geneva Forex event. And if you'd like to be in their shoes, just click on the contest tab on the Duke's Copy Bank website. Goodbye for now.